Today for Mousetrap Monday, I have a very interesting mousetrap to show you. That's design is over 118 years old. It's a very simple idea. It's a board, two staples, and on the staples rotate two sticks, almost like a double teeter-totter. Have some screws in back. Now this mousetrap was first patented by Adam Ager of Mapleton, North Dakota on January 16th, 1900. And looking at his patent application, it's hard to tell how you catch a mouse until you see the additional drawings. Then you can see that this is a mouse trap that works with a bowl. Now catching mice under a bowl is not a new idea. I've already posted a video on a mouse trap described in Mescal's book written 428 years ago. That mouse trap worked really well. I'm curious how this trigger system works. To set this mouse trap, it's very simple. You lift up the back teeter totter and under there you put some bait. Here I'm using cheese. Now that keeps the front teeter totter from going up all the way. It catches right there, but when you remove the cheese, this now goes forward. We'll go ahead and set it again. Now this is ready to go with the bowl. I put two screws there so the bowl doesn't slide. You put the back of the bowl right here, then put the front lip on that front teeter totter. That holds it up. The mice are now able to come under here. They're gonna wanna get the cheese, go under the bowl, pull that out, and it comes down. It's a very simple design that looks like it's gonna work well. Let's go test this out with our pet mice, see if they go in there and get caught. Then we'll set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get some wild mice. For this test, we'll use our black pet mouse. His name is Batman. Well, that didn't take too long. The trigger is very sensitive. Batman went in there, stood on the teeter-totter and caused the bowl to go down. So it's a good design. Let's go test this out in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get wild mice with the bull mousetrap. Let's put Batman back in his cage. Last night we set up this antique style double lever trap that catches mice underneath the bowl in the barn and it worked really well. The mouse went in there, wanted to get the bait, released the mechanism and got caught. He was in there all night, he seems to be doing really well and because this is a live catch trap, we're gonna let him go. To release him, we'll just lift up the bowl. Overall, this was a really good design. The only problem is I made the levers out of wood and the mouse spent most of the night chewing on the back lever, but the bowl worked. I'm gonna to have to return this to our cupboard. Hopefully my wife doesn't see this video. I'll just clean it up real good. There are so many different mouse trap patents, thousands of them, and this one from 1900 worked really well. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week, so if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.